And that's why a Verify team is here to help make sure you have all the facts. And we know a lot of you have tons of questions as COVID cases rise again. Some of you are asking our Verify team, how effective is the shot against the Delta variant? And is it time to get a booster? Our source for this is infectious disease expert, Dr. Amesh Adalja from Hopkins or Johns Hopkins University. He talked with investigative reporter, showing Mercedes to help verify what's real and what's not. The risk of the Delta variant is exaggerated. False. In the United States, we have less than half of the, United, of the population fully vaccinated. So that means that there's a tremendous amount of people that are susceptible to the variant and it is going to spread through the unvaccinated populations. The Johnson & Johnson vaccine is only around 60% effective against the Delta variant. It depends. So we have conflicting studies on the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, one from the company that shows pretty robust immunity, another that was published on a preprint server that shows lower immunity. However, I would say that when it comes to what matters, preventing severe disease, hospitalization, and death, from the Delta variant, the J&J &J vaccine stacks up just as well as the Moderna and Pfizer vaccines. I got the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. I should get Moderna now because it's more effective on the Delta variant. False. We do not yet have data on whether or not boosters with a different type of vaccine are going to be necessary or needed. Right now, there needs to be more study. And as I've said, the J&J &J vaccine does hold up when it comes to what matters, serious disease, hospitalization, and death. The Delta variant is so contagious, we will eventually get to herd immunity, even if many people don't get vaccinated. It depends. If you mean over time, over 10 years, yes, everybody will probably get infected with the Delta variant because this is an efficiently spreading respiratory virus. But the, the point to be made is that if you get herd immunity, it's going to come at a major cost because there are enough high risk individuals who are not protected that will end up dying because of COVID-19. The expiration date of effectiveness on both the two dose vaccines is approaching. I should make an appointment to get the booster shot to protect myself against new COVID variants. False, there's no indication that we need booster shots for the general population. To me, that threshold would be fully vaccinated individuals having breakthrough infections that are landing them in the hospital. That's just not happening to any with any high frequency. Good information right there. Have something you want us to look into for you. Go ahead, reach out to our Verify team. They're there for you. You can email your questions to verify at khu.com.